family and friends of an 18 year old woman are demanding answers tonight after she was shot to death in a Carmichael home. Definitely should have to pay for what he did. Jocelyn Savensky just graduated high school in El Dorado Hills and was about to enter the Air Force. She was shot to death early Saturday morning, and tonight deputies tell us this was an accident, not a murder. KCRA 3's Dana Griffin is live in Carmichael tonight with the family's grief and reaction to that. That's right. I spoke with the victim's brother who tells me that they are all very upset over this and are taking it pretty hard. He also says there's a lesson to be learned from this accidental shooting. This was the last time Danny Savinsky saw his sister Jocelyn. They created this handshake years ago, but last week captured it on video. It's hitting me hard, but I just feel like it's not real. No one wants to believe that their best friend, their little sister, who they've been growing up with for their whole life, is gone. Early Saturday morning, the 18 year old was in the Sutter Avenue apartment complex visiting a friend of a friend when Sacramento County deputies say 22 year old Kenyatta Brown shot her in the chest. Monica Casper was home at the time, a few apartments away. You need to be, you know, responsible. There are kids out here. What if they're outside? What if? What if that bullet went through my house? Savinsky's death was initially ruled a homicide, but deputies have downgraded the killing to manslaughter, saying Brown was negligent handling the gun. No one's going to be just forgiving that someone in their family was either accidentally or intentionally killed. It's, it's a death. Some people handle it differently. Some people just don't handle it at all. He says his family is not handling it well. Although he's trying to remain strong for them, he's still in shock. Friends are also remembering the vibrant 18-year-old who made everyone feel special. She was a really funny girl, like outgoing, just easy, really easy to get to know, just can talk to really anyone. She worked at this Togo's as a manager and graduated in May from Ponderosa High School. Her big brother says she was accepted into the Air Force. Jocelyn's a charismatic person, like... Anything she did in life, she just made sure everyone had a smile on their face. As family and friends wait for more answers as to what exactly caused the shooting, they hope others will see the potential danger from firearms. Even if they don't know my sister, it's someone you would have really wanted to meet. Now, we stopped by the jail earlier today to talk to the suspect, and he, of course, did not want to speak with us. Tomorrow's candlelight visual will be held at 7 p.m. at the El Dorado Hills Rock in Carmichael. Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News. All right, very unfortunate story tonight, Dana. Thank you. And